I'm going to demonstrate how to use the digital audio capture app for the AP foreign language test. On the Chromebook devices, when you go down to the bottom left corner, you can click on the apps button. And in this list, you will see multiple apps that you can use. The one you're looking for right now is the DAC app or digital audio capture. As this loads, you will need a few pieces of information in order to use them during the test. You will need an activation key, an item number, and also your AP ID. For the purposes of this video, we're going to use a practice set of information for those things. And the practice activation key is the word practice all uppercase. During the actual AP exam, it will be different. It will be an activation key specific to your school. There is a number, an AP ID, and an item number that are different for the practice. First, I will type in the item number, which in this case is 797366. It gives me a green check mark saying that that's acceptable. Now I also need to type in the APID that's associated with the practice version. Again, this information will be different on the day of the actual test. Six Y V six six Y X four. It also has a question here asking, I give permission to College Board to use my recorded responses for educational research and instructional purposes. You can choose yes or no. I will leave it marked as yes. Now I click continue. Here you see a large button that says record and down below it is a clock for counting and these dots will uh, show growing and shrinking when it hears audio sound. You will be recording two pieces. The first piece is just your AP ID number. Uh, and the second is going to be your conversation. So here I'm going to record a pretend AP ID. My AP ID is one, two, three, a, B, C, X, Y. After I record it, I press pause, and now I need to click play to make sure that there was audio recorded from the step that I just completed. My AP ID is one, two, three, A, B, C, X, Y. Once I am happy that it recorded my AP ID correctly, so I know that my mic is working and the app is working, I will click continue. As you can see, it has 13 seconds of information or of recording so far. That's when I put in my AP ID number. Now, when I click the pause button, it is going to continue to record the rest of my conversation. I will let it record the entire time until the very end when I am instructed to click stop. So right now I am recording and I can see these dots glowing so that I know it is hearing my audio from my mic. Even when the audio from the file is being played over the speakers and I am not talking, I am still going to leave it recording so that it records what I say 
and also what the other side of the conversation says too. When I get to the end, I can click pause. And if I'm ready and instructed to do so, I can click stop. Have you completed recording both responses? I'm going to select yes. If you can hear your responses, select continue. If not, do not touch the device and raise your hand. You may need to complete the process a second time. My AP ID is 123ABC. So right now I am recording and I can see these dots glowing so that I know it is hearing my audio from my mic. Even when the audio from the file is being played over the speakers and I am not talking, I am still going to leave it recording so that it records what I say and also what the other side of the conversation says too. When I get to the end, I can click pause. So that has both of my recordings as I intended, and I will click continue. And it says success. Your recording has been uploaded. I click done. And it takes me back to the beginning where it says, enter your school's activation key below. 